Okay guys, we're going to have a look and see how to renew your Adobe account. So for example, if you've got Adobe up and you go down and you see that it doesn't say open or install and it says you need to buy or you're on a trial period, then this is what you need to do. So I'm just on Google and I'm going to use Amalia's um, account today. She shared it with me so I can do it for her. And I'm going to go on a website called Students on the Hub. So it's always the first link there. So I'll click on that. Now the website is New South Wales Students on the Hub. And when I'm on there, I just go to the top right and I click on Sign In. Now you would have done this in Year 7. So this is you renewing it if you're in year eight, nine, ten, etc. So I'm just going to type in Amelia's. Now, hopefully in the future you won't have to do this, but for now you do. Now this should be your school password, and if for whatever reason you can't sign in using your school password, well, there's a forgot password button right underneath. And you can click forgot username and password and they will send you a link to your school email on how to actually reset your password. Okay, so if for whatever reason you can't get on, use that forgot password and reset your password so you can get into this site. So now that I am on the site, I'm going to click on Adobe on the top left. Scroll down and you'll see Adobe Creative Cloud subscription. I click on that one. And now here, I want to add this to my cart. So because we haven't done this yet, it's asking us to renew our eligibility. It, it wants to see that you're still a student. So I'm going to click on that, renew eligibility. And then I'll click over here, renew eligibility. And now it's going to say, well, what's your school email? So I'm going to type in Amalia's school email here. And your school email is at education.nsw.gov.au. Make sure you spell it correctly. Otherwise, it does cause you problems later on. And there's just a couple of steps here. What group are you? Well, I'm a student. And I hit submit. And then you get on this page, it says resend confirmation email. I click on that so it sends me an email so i'm just going to open up a new tab i'm going to go to student portal so i just google student portal and it will be the first link and this should get you to your actual school email so i'm going to type in amalia dot and then her Cronulla high school password And we'll want to check her email because they would have sent us an email. So let's have a look at that. So click on email. Um, I need to actually sign out of my account. I think that's why it's doing that. So let's try that again. Excellent. So I am, and we can confirm, just click on the top right and you'll see that you are actually in your school email. And there you go, there is an email um, from kivoto.com and that's the Students on the Hub website. So I'll click on that one and if I scroll down, they've sent me a link that will confirm that I'm still a student. So I click on that link, it takes me back to Students on the Hub and you'll see it says your email address has been verified. So now I can go back to Adobe and scroll down and click on Creative Cloud, add it to my account and it should work this time. So if I click on Add to Account, it now has added it and I can go check out. Ignore everything else that comes up. These are just options to buy, but we're not going to buy any of those. We're just going to go check out. And now this is the really important part. 
This is where they give you the redemption code. Now, I don't mind that the redemption code is on the screen because I'm going to redeem it now for Amalia. And that way, no one else can use that code. But that's what you want to do on Students on the Hub. You want to copy that redemption code, which is in red, and then click on Instructions right underneath it. And that will load you up into Adobe's website. Now, what I want to do is just make sure that I am signed in with Amalia's account. So I'm actually going to go and use a different Adobe email and I want to make sure that I'm using her school email. So if you have an Adobe account, you can click on sign in. Otherwise, what you want to do is create an account. So I'm going to go Amalia dot at education now it's probably best to use your school email um, now I'm going to use Amalia's school password for this and I'm going to hit create account now if I hit create account and it tells me I've already got an account that means you must have already set up the account and you can just hit sign in and use your school email to actually sign in and it should be your school password as well. Um, seeing as Amalia must have used a Gmail uh, to create her Adobe account before, that's what we're doing now. We're just creating her account using her school email. Now I've copied the redemption code from the students on the plus, uh, students on the hub page, I copied that red code. So now all I'm doing is co uh, pasting it in here and then I'm gonna hit redeem code. And that's it. I've now redeemed the code and I've assigned it to Amalia's school email. The next thing that Amalia would do is go over to her Adobe account. Now, if she's got a Mac, it should be at the top here. If she's got a PC, it'd be on the bottom right hand corner. Okay, so depending if you have a Mac or PC, guys, uh, open up your Adobe account. And then what you want to do is all the way here on the top right corner, you want to sign out of any account that's not your school account and then sign in using your school account because that's the uh, account we use to redeem our code. Now, once you do sign in using your school account you should notice that the trials or the buy buttons now have got install there instead or open okay guys i hope that helps you out let me know if you have any problems thank you